guys! Welcome back to my channel! My name is Maria and welcome to the Disney World. On my uh, own experience, I noticed that there are really five importance of submit a tracking register. And uh, this really helped the project to track on documents. On the rest of the video, you will see that I made a short um, slides of those important things uh, that we should know and keep in our mind that this submit a tracking register is very important in the project. What are the five importance of submittal tracking register? In my experience now, I make my own top, I mean top importance of a submittal tracking register based on my own experience. Number one for me is um, this help to maintain updated records of all submittals and keeping the latest revisions. It is very important to know in the project what are the latest revisions of all the submittals. Number two, tracking log should be updated from time to time to be able to track how many submittals receive on the day and how many submittals release on that day because it is really very very important that uh, we know uh, the numbers of the documents that we are receiving each day Number three, tracking log is considered as the diary of all submittals from the time it was received and the time it was released to contractor. This is also one of the importance also of having an updated uh, tracking register because the date, the date received and the date it was released is very important. It's really counting on, uh, that's why we have the cut off time. We need to uh, uh, catch the cut off time and all documents should be released so that the date the days uh, will not be counted on the next day the number four uh, importance for me uh, this help the engineers to be on track for whatever priority in the bulk of submittals they receive and to review it within the contractor obligations this number four this is in relation to the Number two importance, the, we need to know uh, how many submittals receive on the day and how many submittals we release on the day. Because in the bulk of documents that we receive every day, there should be priority, okay? What are the priority of that submittals? Because sometimes contractor, uh, they will uh, submit bunch of documents, okay? But those are not... Uh, that important okay it's not that they uh, submit 100 pieces or 50 pieces of material submittal these are all important sometimes it need to delay for a little a little time and uh make the priority according to the condition of the site and number five is updating tracking log also helps to easily trace the files in the archive room because in the um, tracking register uh, we can put uh, uh, this uh, submittals this material submittal number 1 to 10 is in the filing cabinet number like this volume 1 volume 2 so we can do a lot of remarks on our lags um, to make it uh, very easy for anyone uh, to trace whatever they are searching for and uh, this lag is also um, you can put any remarks if this for example uh, one of your engineers uh, borrow this um, material submittal so you can put it in your in your log you can put the remarks so that uh, in in due time for example in in the next time that they uh, needed the submittal you will know if they return it or is still with them as you saw guys if this is your first time
any idea on how to do your spreadsheet and if you watched on my previous video then you can uh, start to do uh, in manual for your uh, submit log and for the processing days uh, this is also one of the important that we need to indicate in our submit tracking register because this is uh, uh, d this will determine on how long the engineers uh, review a certain submittals and you are very lucky if your company uh, that you work with has uh, their own system wherein you will not uh, do it in manually but this is just a certain example if you have been uh, assigned in the site and there is nothing there's no uh, lags um, manually or there is no templates for any certain lag then you can do this a certain formula so you can uh, make your life easier for submittals and uh, it is easy for you to track if there is uh, submittals which are already overdue or soon to be overdue just remember guys as a document controller we need to remind our team or our engineers of whatever submittals in their hands so at least they can plan uh, uh, what submittals they need to review first or if there is a uh, really an urgent submittals that they need to um, review so we can follow up with them and at least we will have the idea if they were going to release it soon or it will need some time for them to review so guys, I hope that this video will help you a lot or give you a little information on how you will start your log and as you uh, watch my previous video on how to make the formula for the approval status, then on the next column, you can also put this uh, processing days on how you will do it. So just try this in your Excel log. This formula will only be varies on the column of your date received and the column of your date when you return the submittal to the contractor. And of course, when you started the row. So it will varies on that one. Uh, you can play on that um on that formula and uh, see how it works and I hope that uh, this will help you a lot or help you a little on how you will start uh, your day as a document controller and of course I know that there are other uh, document controllers who are really really um, good at doing uh, formulas but the formula that I give you is very simple it's, it's like 1 plus 1 equals 2 <laughs> so um, good luck and I hope you keep watching till the end of my video
first time to visit my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and do share to your friends because maybe they will be this video will also be helpful to them. Thank you for all my subscribers and thank you also for the upcoming subscribers. Thank you for your trust and continuing um, watching my videos. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye guys!